Hello you lovely people this is me the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. Well if you remember a couple of months back I showed you how to make chicken kaldin. Well today's recipe is a take on that. I am showing you how to make vegetable kaldin using a very special ingredient and that is vegetarian maggi magic cubes. Let's begin. What I'm going to do is divide this recipe into four different components. The first one is going to be marinating the vegetables with of course vegetarian maggi magic cubes. The second one is making coconut milk. The third one is making the kaldin paste and the fourth one is actually assembling all of this and making a sweet, sour, spicy, tangy, more importantly creamy goan curry. Let's begin with marinating the vegetables. First things first, assorted vegetables in a large bowl. This of course has cauliflower, carrots, french beans, potatoes and fresh green peas. Let's begin with ginger, garlic and green chilies paste. Along with this, some turmeric powder, white vinegar. Now what I'm going to add to this is a magical special ingredient and that is vegetarian maggi magic cubes. How do you use this? All you do is you open the packet, you crumble this and mix it in the ingredients. Now this adds a brilliant punch to your everyday dishes like dals, rice, vegetables and more wonderful things. Let's get to action. Let's mix all of this, marinate the vegetables and let these marinate for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Let's keep this aside. Our next ingredient now is coconut milk. Now usually when you start from fresh coconuts, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to get coconut milk. What I am doing here is using again a very special ingredient and that is Maggi coconut milk powder. Now all you need to do is dissolve this in warm water and you have your coconut milk with the desired thickness, taste and consistency under two minutes. Let's do that. With this, our coconut milk is ready under two minutes. And for this, I have used two sachets of Maggi coconut milk powder and to that I've added three cups of warm water. Let's now move on to our third component and that is making the kaldin paste. Let's do that. Let's begin with fresh coriander. Of course, you need to wash it, snip it and keep it to use. Let's move on to adding cinnamon stick, some cloves, some cumin seeds, peppercorns, sugar. And for some additional sourness, I'm adding in tamarind. Of course, check for seeds and there you go. Let's cover this and run into a fine and smooth paste. Our kaldin paste is also done and ready. Now let's move on to the fourth and final component and that is making the final curry. Oil in a deep pan. Once the oil heats up, let's add in sliced onions. And saute this till translucent. Once the onions are translucent and soft, I'm going to add in sliced tomatoes and mix this well. Time to add in our marinated vegetables. Time to add in the kaldin paste. Let's saute this on low flame for 5 to 7 minutes. Time to add in the coconut milk. Let's add in our next vegetarian Maggi Magic Cube. Uh, one thing that you should know about this is that this is made using select herbs and spices which blend in beautifully in our everyday delicacies and this adds in wonderful notes of flavour, taste, colour, aroma and richness. Let's 
Let's stir this well and allow this to cook till the vegetables are done to your desired doneness. Finally, let's adjust seasoning. Stir this well. Allow this to cook. With this, our vegetable kaldin is done and ready. Make this for your family, make this for your friends and let me know how you like this. Also, do not forget to use Vegetarian Maggi Magic Cubes. Available across India in stores and online. This will be the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar signing off. Bye for now.